Okay, I'm gonna do my best to talk about and demonstrate Dasher software. It's unique and uh, might be difficult for me to explain it. So um, it's one of the reasons why I'm using a video is that it's probably easier to show it to you. Um, it's a method of input uh, that's an alternative to using a, a keyboard. It's great for people who don't have uh, full use of their all ten fingers to be able to type. Um, you can type fairly quickly uh, using a, a mouse or an eye gaze tracker um, or different types of, of tools. It's also uh, a very novel way of writing so it's great for kids who have maybe behavior problems associated with uh, anxiety um, uh, for writing. Uh, so kids who, who might be extremely reluctant to write uh, or type might find this uh, more enjoyable. It's uh, almost like a, a video game the way you um, the way you write. Uh, you uh, uh, the mode I have it now is normal mode. Uh, I've got control of this cursor th by my mouse, and when I click, it's going to start and stop the motion. And as I go farther away from this crosshairs here, it's going to speed up, um, go up or down, and uh, I can reverse by going this way. So I'm just going to click. We're going to start off pretty slow. And I'm going to write something here. I'm going to say this is dasher. So I'm going to steer towards the letter T, H. All right. You can see word prediction. All right. I'm going to stop it here. Um, T H A T, T H E, T H I S, T H O U G. These are all uh, words that the word prediction element of it is is predicting. I don't have to choose these words, but m I am most likely to be choosing one of these words, so I can steer towards them quite easily. If I wanted a different letter, for, um, I uh, I can steer. Uh, for example, if I wanted a letter uh, B to come next, it's very unlikely, but I can steer under the letter A towards this space here and eventually all the other letters of the alphabet will come up. So there's B. Of course that doesn't make sense. So um, I'm going to back up and go down towards this. Okay. This is... I'm going to steer towards the yellow square here. That's for capitals. Capital D. And there's Dasher. Okay, and I'm steering towards the words that I want. Um, the this one here is the space, the little square there. I'm going to steer towards the green area. That's where I've got my punctuation. I'm going to hit the period there. All right. Uh, now that I've got this block of text here, I can copy and paste that into uh, a word processor or uh, whatever application I need that text in. I'm going to click on Preferences. I'm just going to show you here on Application. Uh, that's standalone mode where you can copy and paste or you can click direct entry and then that text box disappears and you actually will be using Dasher to write directly into your application. Let's look at some other options. It works with many different languages um, and you can load the word prediction um, banks in from the website. Uh, different ways of controlling it. I mentioned this was normal control. Um, I can do click control where it only moves every time I click and then it automatically stops after I click and then um, it's a very kind of choppy motion but perhaps easier for some people to control that way. It's got an eye tracker mode, many different modes and some of them have um, more options that you can specify. Speed, um, it starts off fairly low speed uh, as the default setting and you need to kind of get used to the whole concept of how to how to use it and then you can speed it up quite a lot um, when you are more adept at using that. Let me just show you. So M-O-R-E Adept. I'm going to steer up to the P. Also, uh, here under Preferences, I forgot to mention, under Application, uh, I've enabled uh, this uh, Speak on Word Breaks. It gives you a bit of 
uh, text-to-speech feedback so every word that you type when this is clicked on um, when you hit uh, that space that little square for the space it'll read that word back to you for a bit of uh, f feedback and uh, of course you can change the font as well to to meet your needs so a lot of different ways that you can uh, customize it you can make a more of a high contrast color scheme or um, change the font size as as you need uh, if there are vision issues and um, different ways you can uh, start and stop the motion if you've got it uh, uh, on one of the control styles that uh, that have motion so overall it's a it's quite a, a fun program to to play with um, but uh, would be quite essential I think for for some people uh, to use uh, to be able to write efficiently you can check out the website they um, they say you can get uh, even like 30 30 words per minute using using this uh, once you're uh, proficient at it so check it out it's dasher and uh, just google dasher software and you um, might also want to check out there's a, a a version of it that works with dragon naturally speaking so um, you would s uh, you dictate a sentence in there and then you can use that that kind of seeds the word prediction um, and you can correct or uh, uh, you can correct what it uh, what it has there or uh, accept what it has using this interface so it's another uh, unique way to uh, to input on your computer